hello guys welcome back again to my youtube channel today i'm going to be showing you how to make this delicious pepper sauce you can have this sauce on anything on rice on whatsoever you can even have it in your wrap your burger so good let's jump right into the video the first step is you need to gather all your ingredients i'm showing you my ingredients i got some little white onions red pepper um green pepper because i'll be making two type of sauces I'm gonna be making the green one using the red, I mean the green bell pepper, the red one using the red bell pepper. Okay, that's why you see I have two. You can mix it up if you want, but in this video, I'll be making two different sauce. The first step, you can go ahead and wash all your veggies. <laughs> The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get the middle part of the bell pepper out and put it away. You can use the seed and plant it if you want to. Once you're done washing them, put it aside. The next step is to clean my habanero pepper. I'm gonna put the ingredients in the description box below. My onions as well. I'm gonna also cut them, peel them. The reason why I'm prepping this is because I will be blending all of these ingredients, okay? added these little white onions but it it's not really necessary after cutting two or three it was a little bit hard for me to peel and cut it so i just left it so i'm showing you my green pepper i've got habanero onions and my green bell pepper this is for my green pepper sauce the next one is for my red pepper sauce i've got um, red bell pepper onions i will also add garlic and i have habanero red pepper which i haven't shown you guys but i will show you later previously i had a fish that i was showing you and i was soaking them in hot water to keep them aside because that stock fish will be used in the sauce now i'm just going ahead to blend my green bell pepper as you can see everything is green okay the habanero the orange habanero the green bell pepper and the onions I'm blending that I'm not blending it into like a smooth paste no I'm kind of like chopping it yes in my food processor it's kind of like chopping but semi blending chopping blending I don't know <laughs> whatever now it's time for the red um, sauce so like I told you guys earlier I'm making two different sauce so I'm now blending the ingredients for the red one the reason why I'm doing two different colors because I have children. The green one is for my children and the hot red one is for me and my husband. So here we go. Here is the dry fish or the stock fish that I told you earlier on that I was soaking in hot water. As you can see now it's easy to, you know, pull apart. I'm now going to try to debone it. Like get all the burns out so that I can blend it.
it's all blended as you can see now i'm gonna now add some in my red pepper sauce and some in my green pepper sauce i'm also gonna go ahead and add the chili that i was telling you about the hab the red habanero pepper that i already have blended up in my red pepper sauce because i didn't blend you know any pepper in my red pepper sauce i'm also gonna add some garlic that i just showed you guys the garlic and then put it on the fire add some i'm not gonna season it right now i'm gonna put both of them on the fire to cook until the water dries okay i want the water that is in this thing to dry let it dry i'm not adding no season right now i'm just cooking it Now I'm just showing you the season that I'm going to be using. Adobo, garlic and pepper seasoning, paprika, poultry seasoning. I'm not sure if I use that. Um, um, Tony's, black pepper, oregano. And I'm also going to add a little bit of the pasta sauce. A little bit, you're going to see. And I'll also be using my chicken bouillon. So here, yeah, this is what I was talking about. The sauce is dry. There's no water in it, as you can see. The red one still has a bit of water left, so I'm still letting it to, you know, cook until it dries a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and fry this. Once the sauce is dry, you take it from the stove. I'm going to be using the same pot. That's why you see, you know, the stuff in the pot. That's the same pot. I'm adding my oil, waiting for it to go hot. And then I'm going to put my pepper in. I'm going to fry it. I know the oil is a lot I put a lot of oil deliberately it's not because I like to cook with a lot of oil or like to swim in oil no it's deliberate because I'm making pepper sauce and pepper oil so the sauce will be at the bottom and the oil will be at the top so sometimes I may need the oil for salad or whatsoever I want to use it for I can just get the oil and then if I want the sauce I can scoop it from underneath now i'm just adding my seasoning i added black pepper and white pepper oops i went i was a bit too excited that i added too much um oregano season um now i've got my adobo and with the seasoning i can't really give you a specific amount because it depends on the size of you know pepper sauce you're making i made a lot of pepper as you can see pepper sauce i made two different batches so it's a lot to really sit down and give you the pre the precise measurement. You just have to use your own dis um, discernment and, you know, choose what you want. Season your food to taste. So now I'm adding that pasta sauce that I told you guys about. Like I told you, I'm only adding a little bit. 
a little bit i think i later on went back and added a little bit more to this sauce the reason why i didn't add it fully because i didn't want my sauce to be like pasta we tomato we <laughs> i don't know sour no so i just add a little bit of that pasta sauce and i'm also gonna add a little bit in the red sauce as well So the red sauce is all done. The same ingredients that I use for the green sauce is exact is the exact same ingredient for the red sauce. Thank you so much for watching. Um, like I said, the oil is a lot, but as you can see, you will see the oil setting on top, and that's what I use for my. Um, there you go. The oil is setting on top on this one. I use it for my salad. I use it for my burgers, my wrap. You can use it for whatsoever thank you so much for watching please don't forget to support my channel don't forget to subscribe share it with your friends and loved ones look how juicy this look yeah I'm just going to take one. Okay. Mmm. 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 So yummy. So yummy. Mmm. Trust me, guys, you are going to love this. Mm.